Hi, welcome back. These are my coaching journal reflections. We are now on entry number two. So, with entry number two, I was learning more how to be an effective coach. So, I really um, like this checklist that was provided by Jim Knight, The Impact Cycle of listening and questioning effectively. I kind of had to run through this checklist in my list in order to prepare for um, an effective coaching session with my colleague. So I took the information that she provided in her contact form from journal entry number one and understood that she really wanted to ab apply more applications. So um, in order to make sure that she was trying to find ways to implement more um, effective engagement uh, through technology, um, we had to identify her goal. But before that, I kind of ran through this checklist, which was super helpful um, because, you know, it just it's a calm reminder about making sure you don't interrupt, you ask questions one at a time, you're very personable with your colleague. You're non-judgmental, um, and I really love that he like laid it out for for someone to um, remember how to be an effective coach. The next thing that I did was then I had to plan and identify. So I took the list of questions that he provided in his book. Um, the identify questions and I kind of just laid it out for myself just to make sure that I was familiar with the questions and it didn't look like I was reading from the page um, when I was with my colleague. So um, making sure, you know, um, the questions flowed smoothly as we were speaking. And I had to familiarize myself with the peer's goal, so making sure that she understood that the goal was powerful, easy, emotionally compelling, reachable, and student-focused. And um, I think it was very easy to be able to um, make sure that the goals were focused because she's um, very into, you know, student-focused goals. So this was... Um, pretty simple to remind her of that. But um, as we continued, um, I had to make sure, you know, um, that I brought in effective forms and ways to measure what ultimately her goal would be. So um, at the end of it, she really wanted to bring more engagement um, to her lesson. And so we... Um, as we were looking at it, we looked at a video of her classroom and of a lesson, of a reading lesson, and I really enjoyed that um, the fact that she let me video her because um, I know reading in his book, um, sometimes you'll have reluctant teachers, but my colleague is very um, laid back and she really understood that, you know, the importance of videotaping the lesson. So in order to bring up her low T, levels we you know we talked through the questions um i saw that she was using a form of technology but i just kind of wanted to make sure that you know the engagement was there with all the students um and that we were able to incorporate the reading questions that she had and just bring up those low t levels make sure everybody's collaborating um in a creative way and these questions we can make them higher order as well. So she knew that as well. And it was really easy to talk to her. Um, we get along really well. So we talked about her goal and the technology that we would incorporate. And one form of technology we would incorporate would be Nearpod. So um, we kind of sat down and talked about, like, how could we um, uh, use that, use that tool and implement um, engagement and high order thinking skills and collaboration in order to meet her goal. But overall, I felt like um, the challenging part was just really sitting down and like um, and filming ourselves talking to each other. That um, can be awkward, but at the same time, we kind of learn from it um, as well. And how and you can see, you know, how we interact with someone. Are we really paying attention to them? Or are we paying attention to something else? Um, 
but it was good to make, you know, the focus her and not, um, what, you know, I know this and I can do this. So it was more her and helping her identify the goal that would meet, best meet her needs. Um, and just making sure that we were aware of the different forms we could use to measure was difficult to kind of find a, a form that we both liked, but um, we knew that engagement was the ultimate goal. But the questions really helped um, and making sure that uh, we were able to flow through the questions without it being so robotic. Um, but it was overall a great uh, coaching learning session. I felt confident with identifying her goal and being able to help her through it. Um, we had a great connection, and I just can hope that we continue these coaching sessions in a positive light. And I look forward to seeing what I learn as well as what she learns from these coaching sessions.